In this video segment, I'm going to cover the process of placing feet for your cabinets. In this cabinet sample plan that I have open, the two bath vanities on the right already have the feet placed. The vanity on the left, which actually consists of three separate cabinets, does not yet have any feet. I'm going to show you the steps involved in placing feet on those three cabinets. In placing the feet underneath the three cabinets, I'm going to remove the toe kick. I'm going to raise the cabinets up off of the floor the distance of the cabinet foot and then we'll place the cabinet feet independently in our floor plan view. I'm going to begin the process by selecting and holding my shift key down all three cabinets. I'll use the open button in the far left hand corner of my menu. To remove the toe kick you can click on the toe kick face item. That will change the panel to the front. What you need to do is make sure you uncheck use default so there is no check mark in here. At that point you can actually come in and type in a value for the toe kick which I'm going to enter in at zero. Press the tab key you can see the preview and it removes the toe kick. The next thing I want to do is on the general panel I'm going to adjust the cabinet height now that it doesn't have a toe kick and I'm actually going to subtract six inches from the dimension that will leave us with 28 inches and then from the floor to bottom so we'll elevate this cabinet up off of the floor this would be the distance for your cabinet leg I'm going to place a six inch leg underneath of this cabinet and then the final thing I'm going to do you'll notice that after changing the sizing of the cabinet to 28 inches the face items for the drawers are no longer equal. I'm going to click on the bottom drawer in here and I'm going to change that face item to be a little bit closer to the other size. It's going to ask me since it's marked as locked if I want to resize it. Go ahead and select OK. And now the two face items are very close in dimensions. Let's go ahead and close the panel and you can see the cabinet changes now in 3D. I'm going to toggle over to the floor plan view. Make sure your library browser is open and then you can browse down into the architectural millwork and cabinet feet. This is valid for Home Designer Architectural and Home Designer Pro. If you're using Home Designer Suite, you can purchase the catalog of cabinet feet. You can go to the library and get additional content online. That will open up our 3D library. You can search for cabinet feet and then you can actually download that product and have that library available to you in your catalog. Once you have found a cabinet foot that you like, by the way you can use columns and other components for a cabinet foot, I'm going to grab this particular foot and let's just place it over in this area right here. Next I'm going to double click and check the sizing of this foot. Notice that the height is actually six inches. You could change the width and the depth if you want to. Go ahead and close the dialog and now I'm going to position this over the top of the cabinet. If you hold down your control key you can actually override bumping and snapping and have a little bit more precise movement in the way that cabinet foot is placed. While the cabinet foot is still highlighted I'm going to use the copy tool found in the lower left hand menu. I'm going to slide a copy of that to the other side of the cabinet. Press my shift key both of the cabinet feet are selected. Again press the copy button in the lower section of my screen. Copy. And then I'm going to slide a copy of this up towards the back of the cabinet. Again if you hold your control key down you have added flexibility that will temporarily override the bumping and snapping. Now to make sure this object moves as a single object which means the three cabinets, the sink, and the faucet I'm going to draw a marquee around this and grab all of those components and in Home Designer Architectural and Pro you'll find an option to make this an architectural block. When you click that it will group all of those items together and then you can actually move it as a single object when it's created as a block. Let's go back into our 3D view. You'll notice that the cabinet feet are using a dark wood material. I'm going to use the material eyedropper, select the color of the cabinet box itself, and then I'm going to come down and I'm going to paint in a component or an object mode. 
each one of those feet. You can also change it for the entire room or plan depending on how you want to apply that. Once you've made the change, you're pretty much finished with placing your cabinet feet on your cabinets.